morning or afternoon or night whenever you choose to watch this. It is time for day two of our trip. What park are we heading to? Disneyland. We're gonna go to Disneyland. Crystal has obviously goals of getting every picture possible. Because it's Halloween. It's Halloween at the time of filming here. So we're gonna get in there because who knows when we're ever gonna be in Disneyland for Halloween again. Get those pictures taken for her. Go ride some rides. Go over to California Adventure. But if you are new around here, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. Click that like button if you like what we're doing. And click that bell icon so you're notified whenever we release new videos on Mondays and Fridays. Well, now it's time for For Love of the Mouse to go enjoy Disneyland on Halloween. Right, here we are, Main Street USA and Disneyland on Halloween. Oh, sounds like we got the band going. This is so cool. You know, I know I've been harsh on the castle. But the castle is really pretty. And they got the snow already on it and some icicle lights for Christmas. That's gonna be so cool that today's Halloween, tomorrow, Christmas. Cannot wait for it. I will say one thing about Disneyland's Main Street, I feel like there's more space. Like when we were walking around in Fantasyland and stuff yesterday, I did not feel like there was space. But Main Street feels like there is just way more room. And that could just be perspective, but it does. And I really enjoy it. I also enjoy the look of Main Street. Like these, these buildings, I feel like, just have a different color to them and a different this look. And I really, really enjoy it. Disneyland is Disneyland. And you know, when you come here and you come to Disney World so much, you get the tendency of comparing the two. But in all honesty, you can't. You cannot compare these two. They're just their own beast. They're their own parks. And it's amazing. Back there, we got the big pumpkin tomorrow. That's gonna be a Christmas tree, I bet. I'm excited to see Christmas decorations on both coasts this year. So cool. All right, well, gonna head back, meet up with Crystal because she wants to get a picture in front of a big pumpkin. All right, so we got our pumpkin picture. We are heading out. We're going over to Disney California Adventure, DCA, because we got a fast pass for Radiator Springs Racers. Now, if you haven't been to Disneyland, they have the Max Pass system, which is fast pass, just like in Disney World, but you cannot make your fast pass until the day of. So once you are in the park, you can make your fast pass selection. So like I said, we got here to get our pumpkin picture. We got our fast pass for Radiator Springs Racers. And if you go in to make another one, it won't let you. But what a lot of people don't understand is that if you look on your name on your party, where it tells you that you can't make one, it gives you a little tiny time that you can make another fast pass. Now most of the people here have told us that it's about 90 minutes and you can make another fast pass after that. So if you want to get more fast passes and stack them on top of each other with the max pass system out here in Disneyland, make sure you check that little time when it tells you that you can't make a fast pass yet. Because you can, you just have to wait. Like us for instance, we have to wait until 12.15 to make our fast pass. So that was 90 minutes. But at 12.15, we get to make another fast pass. So that's a way for you to get around the max pass system here in Disneyland. One of the most convenient things of being out here in California, oh, monorail. Anyway, one of the most convenient things about being out here in California that Disney World doesn't offer to you, right behind me, that's Disneyland. Then, there's California Adventure, literally, a two minute walk, if that. Love that part of this trip so far. We are in Disney's California Adventure. We are on Buena Vista Street right when you walk in. This is like Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood Studios over in Orlando. They even got the people just like they do in Orlando. The citizens of Hollywood Boulevard. Everything's purple here. They're getting ready for the Oogie Boogie Bash tonight for Halloween. All sold out. 
But as I said, we are heading over to Cars Land to ride Radiator Springs Racers. One really cool thing that you can do that I don't think a lot of people know about, or maybe just a lot of people don't want to get up at 5.30 in the morning for, is if you're staying on property here at Disneyland, you can sign up to come and do a power walk around Disney's California Adventure at 5.45 in the morning. They meet over at the gate into Disney's California Adventure from the Grand Californian. And you power walk the entire park before anybody else is in here. This morning it was dark, only trucks were in here, like starting, they were getting everything prepped for the day. And we power walked, and it's a true power walk, so if you can't walk a 15 minute mile, you can't do it. Power walk the entire park, and you stop periodically, and your guide tells you like tidbits and factoids about the park. I learned a ton, it was awesome. Uh, it was really cool. You get to see a lot of the park. You get to see a unique vantage point because nobody's here. And it's super early, but I thought it was awesome. I would even do it again. I don't know if they offer it every morning. So when you check into your resort, you have to be staying on property. But if you check into your resort, ask them about it and get signed up for that because it was really, really awesome. It was like having an early morning behind the scenes tour that was free and was before anyone else got into the parks. So that was awesome. than test track it is so cool that was so much fun oh my goodness i want to go on it again and again <laughs> disneyland brings it with the rides that's for sure we are loving it here in cars land it's so immersive love it so much this is what they should do to rock and roller coaster <laughs> where rock and roller coaster is they should put cars land oh i love it i want to go again we're gonna have to go again at some point today but now we're gonna head over to Toy Story Mania. Maybe I can keep the streak going and win twice in a row.
So what happened? I lost. You lost. I didn't even just lose. I'm usually winning until the last room. I wasn't even winning going into the last room. The dynasty is back. It is back here in Disneyland and it's not going away. <laughs> I just did the Incredicoaster. It was awesome. I would totally do it again. It was like a 10 minute wait. It was pretty much like a walk on, but it was really, really fun. It's like way smoother than Expedition Everest. And I was kind of worried about the upside down because I don't like coasters that go upside down. And you don't even know. It's like that smooth. So it was really, really fun. I hopefully I do it again on this trip because it was awesome. So thumbs up. All right, well now that we got the max pass system kind of figured out, as I told you earlier, we got a max pass to go on one of our favorite rides, Soarin'. So let's go Soarin' around the world. Hello and welcome to Soarin'. My name is Patrick and I'll be your chief flight attendant today. We'll begin boarding in a few minutes, but first I'd like to acquaint you with some important safety information. Store all carry-on items in the underseat compartment. This includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little beauties. Yeah, have a nice flight. Well, we just got done doing Soarin' Around the World here at Disney's California Adventure in the Grizzly Peaks area. You know where that is, it's off to the right. It's the pathway you take to the Grand Californian. Soarin' over here at Disney California Adventure is so awesome. Basically the same video that you get when you go do it in Disney World, except at the end you fly down Main Street and the fireworks go off over Sleeping Beauty's Castle. So that was pretty cool to go Soarin' right down Main Street. That definitely was pretty awesome. The queue is themed after like post-World War II era type planes. It's an old plane hanger. It's pretty awesome as well. I actually like that theming better than I probably do the one in Epcot. So, soaring around the world here in Disneyland at Disney's California Adventure is an awesome experience. Definitely make sure to check it out when you come to Disneyland. So there's one thing we still have not done since we've been here at Disney's California Adventure, and that's check out any of the Marvel stuff. Which as you know, there is no Marvel stuff in Orlando at Disney World to check out. And I'm a huge Marvel fan. So even though there's might not be a ton, I still gotta go see it while I'm here. Right, well, we just kind of walked over to see Mission Breakout because I've never seen Mission Breakout. Crystal saw it this morning on her little power walk she did, but I have never seen it. And I have to say, I am purely amazed at what they have done. I mean, obviously it's the same building as Tower of Terror and Hollywood Studios, but you cannot tell at all. So cool with how they've done it. So I was just telling Crystal, I am super excited for Avengers Campus. And I really wasn't until I've seen what they've done with what little Marvel stuff they have here. So, cannot wait. Probably gonna have to come back to Disneyland for that one. That's gonna do it for us. The next time you see us, we will be at Disneyland. So let's go. And we are back. We are back at Disneyland to enjoy Halloween time in Disneyland. For the last time. Right for the last time. Because tomorrow morning, it'll be Christmas. It's Christmas time, starting tomorrow. All right, let's head in. Go enjoy a few hours of Halloween at Disneyland. So if you remember in yesterday's video, I was talking about the tree that had all the pumpkins hanging from it. Well, here it is at night, all lit up. So pretty. You can kind of see the pumpkins when you're looking at it. It probably doesn't show up on film, 
but it's still a really pretty tree. I really like this. All right, so here's our plan. Everywhere is busy because it's Halloween. And if you're not over at Disney's California Adventure for Oogie Boogie, you're here. So we're gonna go to Galaxy's Edge, try and catch the fireworks show tonight from there. We're gonna go see how Batu celebrates Halloween. I bet they don't. So I just went and did single rider on Smuggler's Run here in Disneyland. Waited about 15 minutes instead of 40, like the standby line. But only downside, I had to be gunner, which out of all three positions is probably my least favorite because you don't really have to do too much. It's my favorite. So it's Crystal's favorite because any other position makes her sick. <laughs> she gets seasickness. So. Anyway, single rider, if you don't care about what position you are, you just want to ride the ride, definitely give single rider a chance. Because guess what? You're still on Smuggler's Run at the end of the day, and it's still a fun ride. And just because I don't like Gunner doesn't mean I'm not going to do it. Right, the celebration has just ended here on Batu, which means we are done for the night. I know we didn't really do a whole lot tonight on Halloween. It was a madhouse out there in Disneyland, so we came to Batu, and it was just our pace. We got to walk around and check everything out over here. Yep. But hope you enjoyed all the fun we had today. Crystal, what was the best part? The Incredicoaster. She did love the Incredicoaster. I would say Radiator Springs Racers. That's possibly yeah. one of my new favorite rides. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. But anyway, that's going to wrap it up today. If you're new around here, click that subscribe button. Click that like button if you like what we're doing and that bell notification so that you can be notified every time we release a video on Mondays and Fridays. Thank you guys for stopping by. And for the love of the mouse. Never forget. That it all started. With the mouse. <laughs>